Well, how's everybody doing? I'm driving home with my camera on the dash. Try to get some footage of my area and the sky is being kind of cloudy right now. Getting on the freeway in San Luis Obispo, California. How's everybody doing? I gotta get one of those little devices that hang up so you can watch me drive. But I really, if you watch the skies, they're pretty trippy. So, <clears throat> keep your eyes open. The skies are pretty trippy looking right now. The semi truck one in my lane. I'm not gonna give it to him. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to Seafinal Channel. I'm driving back from San Luis Obispo to Central Coast, California. That's where I'm coming out. Look at that V-shaped ship in the sky. Look at that V-shaped ship. Whoa, dry, dry. Anyways, I'm doing something different. I'm going to have you drive by, hold the camera, watch for cops. I don't want to see me doing this. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Look at that. Check it out. California freeways, and the home of the non-stop freeway, it never goes quiet, never goes slow until about 5 o'clock in the morning and it starts back up at 6. So always people traveling this 101 freeway. All right, there's a cloud right there, check that out. There's a sun and a cloud and all kinds of weird stuff in the sky that I want you to see today. Get what I can get and trim what I trim. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. I'm gonna put this on my morning cloud video, I think, just to make it fun. Um, that was a couple days ago. I gotta produce that today. I got another video coming right now. It's a spontaneous hunt, and I caught all kinds of just weird stuff in the sky. Uh, planets, spaceships, you know, all kinds of weird stuff going on. People in California drive good or bad, either way. You got, they're either uh, maybe a, a foreigner in this area and driving like they're in, still in Tijuana, Mexico, like crazy. Or they're from South America, way down, and they drive really super careful. Um, and they come here and they don't know how to drive because everybody drives radical. Everybody goes 75 miles an hour, you know. 75 miles an hour, you know, that's how California rolls. Texas now, I live there, people drive like 90 miles an hour, insane fast, and there's no need to go anywhere 40 mile, uh, 30 miles faster or 20 miles faster than you're already going, you're not going to get there, you're going to die, <laughs> that's what I say about that, anyways, crazy clouds, I want you guys to see them, you know, we got all the fires 7, 8, 10 hours north, and you got all the fires 2 and a half, 3 hours south, so in between, you got a lot of smoky skies like this, and like that, what can I say? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy skies. Uh, I got my dog in the back seat. <clears throat> so, my wife's new job, I got to drive her 35 miles away once or twice a week. So, I get a lot of time in the sky here. And I figured I'd grab this rolling sky. Wow, I'm rolling. I have dark splotches up there. Anyways, all right for now. I'm coming back in a minute. Now normally, this is sunrise, Sunday morning. Normally my moon comes up like right about there, which is facing slightly southeast. But last night, my moon came up about there, facing northeast, more northeast, but still east. Okay, so it was huge, like orange, and it was like a harvest moon. Now, normally if it comes up here, and in the morning you'll see it come up here and it will travel just like this, guys. Literally this route, right over this tree. And then by morning when I get up, that moon's right about there. Well, last night it came up over here. And as it began to go over, it's way north. It traveled all night like this and there it is. And that's exactly west 
a little bit on the northwest. Okay, now normally it would be right over here, right above this pine tree, right there. But it's quite a ways away. So is that the polar shift? I mean, is that the pole shift? Yeah, I think so. I think we, I think we went, our east went south a little bit and our west went south. So we're not, we're actually looking at more north if the pole shift happened. So that's my take on it. God bless you guys. All right, guys, I'm here to show you one thing. My moon usually comes up about there. Sun comes up about there, if you can see. Okay, and the moon usually comes up and it travels over that tree and it travels over that tree. And by morning, because it comes up at night, it's right there. Well, remember the other day I was showing you the moon came up over here in the middle of the night and it went like this and it landed on this side of the house right there by the chimney, right? Well, last night it came up about here, a little bit farther south. It traveled over, it traveled over, it traveled over, and there it is. But, compared to the other morning, it's smaller. The missing part, the shadow. So we got that moon. Mm. It normally sits over here, right about there. But as you can see, it's right over my house. I want to point something out. I think it's called the Gibson moon. Usually the crest is on top, but you notice the crest that's missing is on bottom. When it came up, it was on top, and by morning, top part should be cut off, but the bottom part on the right's cut off. Anyways, <clears throat> you can see these crazy clouds got coming in. The whole system coming in over here. Usually it looks like this coming from the south when the bureau's gonna show up today, so we should get a great sunset. Maybe I can get to the beach today and, and get that. So, that's what you're looking at right there in my sky. Wispy wispies, angel clouds. I call them angel clouds, guys, but they're crazy. Stuff's happening in our sun, sun rises in the morning. I think we're gonna get a big ring. We're gonna get a really big ring around the sun. You see all the chemtrails they're doing. Then the chemtrails tell you something's happening. There's the sun finally coming up. Yeah, that's about where the moon comes up too, normally. Anyway. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the throne, we take our place. Around the throne, around the throne, around the and this morning I showed you the moon. So I'm gonna put this together with the moon. And right now the moon is gone on this side. It's just all chemtrails, all chemtrails. Boom, boom, boom. And then I got a huge ring with the chemtrails, which makes it an interesting day. Just weird, chemtrails, chemtrails. 
I had a chemtrail earlier that the sun was beaming down on, but the shadow was going up on the chemtrails. So I wonder how close that sun simulator really is. God bless. There's something bigger going on. He's holy, holy. There's something bigger going on. There's someone bigger than me. There's something bigger going on. He's holy, holy. So fill me with the knowledge of God, with the knowledge of you.
today, uh, 1129, November 29th, and I just want to show you this teal green uh, sky, and <clears throat> this is a sunrise. But look at the clouds, look at the color of the clouds. Everything else has got a normal tint to it on the bottom, but the skies are till green. Uh, it's not just a camera, it's just going on all over the place. There's a lot of clouds, look at all the pictures being taken out. So I want you to get an idea of what the skies are really like today. Um, they're not that clear. There is some clear skies, but there's not a lot of activity in them. But where there is a lot of clouds, there's a lot of colors and activities in that sense. And this is just the morning shot of this. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it all the way to the end. Just watch. And we're in Mexico Revolution. Mexico Revolution. Casablanca. Awesome looking clouds. The colors are awesome. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Uh, we had like two days of rain. The whole backyard's flooded out. I'll put some clips of that on because I'm showing you a lot of cloud stuff. Well, I'm showing you cloud formations and you know how it's going down in the sky right now. It's very, very dark in the world. Very, very, very dark. Uh, it's crazy. Look at that. Bill Green. The sun's up there somewhere. Oh, the sun simulator. Alright, enough of that. I'm going to go to the afternoon and see what we get. Okay. There we go. There we slow the speed down to one. I put it on automatic play because if you do that, there's only a few white screens and it just goes right by them. So here's the afternoon shot. They took a lot of shots out of this um, white screens and missing footage. And I always wonder, man, I like to see that footage. You know, but uh, the uh, stellar cores that are floating out there, unlit four stars that are igniting uh, negative charge on the Earth, it's causing stuff to light up. That's it, guys, on that one. 